Hello, my name is Matthew Alexa, a forecaster with the National Weather Service office in Grand Junction, Colorado. And today I will be talking about the state of the climate and the outlook for the spring and summer. All right, Matt, so, so tell me what you're looking at in terms of the climate and in terms of El Nino and that sort of thing. Well, when we look at climate outlooks, uh, we tend to look at the Nino 3.4 region, which is the temperatures off the central equatorial Pacific. And as you can see currently, um, we are on the cool side, but still right around neutral um, for, for Nino. Um, looking at the uh, ENSO predictions, um, it looks like as we transition into spring and summer, we're going to be transitioning more from a neutral pattern and weak La Nina um, towards a El Nino or weak El Nino pattern. And um, the La Nina storm track that we're in right now favors a northern storm track, which is what we're seeing with uh, systems clipping the northern mountains and above normal temperatures with the high pressure system. But as we transition into El Nino, we'll start to see that storm track uh, more favor the uh, southern stream towards the Four Corners. <clears throat> Looking at the temperature outlooks, uh, currently in the month of March, uh, we're sitting at warmer than normal temperatures towards the south. Uh, but we are in mid-March already, and so we're looking at more warm, warmer than normal and near record temperatures uh, for the month of March so far. As we transition towards the three-month outlook looking into the spring of March, April, and May, uh, we can see greater probabilities of above normal temperatures and warmer conditions for the springtime. Looking ahead towards the summer of June, July, and August, as you can see that uh, trends, the, great, the probabilities of above normal temperatures will extend towards the, um, much of the western U half of the United States and the southern part. And for Utah and Colorado, it uh, looks like greater probabilities of above normal temperatures for the summer. <clears throat> as, we, as we look towards precipitation, uh, we could see the one month precipitation outlook for the month of March, and we're already mid-March. Um, we're looking at uh, greater probabilities of drier than normal conditions across the south and weather than normal across the north where Colorado and Utah kind of sit sandwiched in between. So um, that means there's equal chances of above or below normal um, precipitation for the month of March. Looking ahead towards the outlook for the spring months of March, April, and May, um, we are trending more towards drier than normal conditions for the springtime, uh, across, especially across the south, uh, where we head into the central and northern parts of the state, uh, there's equal chances of above or below normal or near normal conditions for precipitation. And looking ahead towards the summer months of June, July, and August for precipitation, uh, there's, e there's really no skill here, uh, equal chances of above, below, or near normal conditions for precipitation, but it does look like we will trend towards the warmer than normal um, for the, the summer months. All right, so, so we talked a little bit about the temperatures and the abnormal precipitation and the forecast for that. So what about the drought? Are we in a drought? Are we experiencing anything like that? Currently, eastern Utah and western Colorado are not in a drought at this time, but the front range um, is in a moderate to severe drought uh, for, much, for much of the front range, and then Portions of central Utah are abnormally dry so in D0 category, but eastern Utah and western Colorado are currently not in a drought at this time. If you look ahead towards the seasonal drought outlook, and this is through May 31st, um, it does look like the drought will persist across the front range, and there will be you know, little to no change across eastern Utah and western Colorado. All right, Matt, thank you. That was really informative with all that information. Uh, can we just do a quick uh, few sentences on uh, recapping? Okay, well, to summarize, um, currently we are in a ENSO neutral, and we're transitioning towards the fall um, and summer and fall towards a, a weak El Nino. And that means that right now we are seeing above normal temperatures and drier than normal conditions for, for March. And for the summer, or for the spring and summer months, we're looking at uh, trends towards above normal temperatures and um, below normal precipitation for the south and equal chances across the north and central. And there is no drought currently, but uh, little to no improvement um, in the drought outlook for the coming 
for the springtime in eastern Utah and western Colorado. However, a drought does persist across the front range of Colorado.